microprocessors. The computer which we use to carry out so many tasks uses a microprocessor to do its work. It is the heart of any normal computer, whether it is a desktop machine, a laptop or a server. A microprocessor is an integrated circuit. If you are wondering what an integrated circuit is, then let me tell you, it is nothing but a micro semiconductor chip on which thousands of tiny resistors, capacitors and transistors are fabricated. An IC can basically function as an amplifier, oscillator, timer, computer memory or microprocessor. Now let's come back to microprocessors. A microprocessor is an IC which comprises of arithmetic logic unit, control unit and central processing unit which is fabricated on a single chip. It is used to incorporate the core functions of a computer central processing unit, CPU. The microprocessor that you are using might be a Pentium, a K6, a power PC but all these microprocessors do approximately the same thing in approximately the same way. The first microprocessor was the Intel 4004, introduced in 1971. It was not very powerful as it could only add and subtract and could do that only for 4 bits at a time. Ever since then, a lot of microprocessors have been developed with their improvised versions. A microprocessor is a programmable multi-purpose silicon chip, which is clock-driven and register-based. It accepts binary data as input and provides output after processing it as per the instructions stored in the memory. Now let's move on to some of the advantages of microprocessor. High speed. Microprocessor chips can work at very high speed and is capable of executing millions and millions of instructions per second. Low cost. They are available at low cost due to integrated circuit technology. Reliable. Microprocessors are very reliable as semiconductor technology is used and very versatile as the same chip can be used for a number of applications by simply changing the program. Low power consumption. The microprocessors are manufactured using metal oxide semiconductors in which the transistor work in saturation and cutoff mode and hence the power consumed is very less compared to others. This was all about microprocessors in this video. Thanks for watching and if this video helped you guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel.